Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life Scrapbooking and Card Making. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make these cute milk cartons using the Spellbinders FSJ milk carton steel rule die. And we'll be making a milk carton carrier while we're at it. Now for a steel rule die of this size, you're going to want to use your big die cutting machine. In my case, I'm using the Spellbinders Platinum. If you're using your Spellbinders Platinum on this type of die, what you want to do is you sandwich it in between your two 12 inch cutting pads. As we die cut our mill cartons with our Spellbinders die, it's going to create some score or some crease marks. And once we have that on our mat, what we're going to do is we're just going to fold along those crease lines. Next, we're going to take some wet glue or double-sided tape if you prefer, and we're going to apply it on that side lip of our milk carton, and we are going to close our milk carton in place. Since my folding was not perfect, I'll, I wound up with this tiny hint of, of a piece just peering out of the, from the side. And so what I did was I took a pair of scissors and just uh, snipped it right out. But it was this tiny hair piece. And what I love about this mill carton die is that the bottom is self-closing. As you see here, it is so super easy and it closes in place. Now for the top closure, you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. The good part about this is that your steel rule die is going to make some score marks or some creases on the top. That way, as you kind of like play with it, you will see how it naturally forms the closure on the top. And what I'm using on the top is a miniature clothespin to keep it closed. And so the clothespin that I was using on the pink one was a little bit on the big side. So I decided to use a miniature there as well. Okay, so now that we've finished putting together our milk cartons, I decided why not make a carrying a tote for it that would be fun so I went ahead and I did my measurements and what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim some paper at five and three quarters by eight and a quarter and then we're gonna score at one inch and a half on all sides Once we're through scoring our paper, we are going to fold it along all sides and make sure that you use your bone folder so you get some nice uh, crisp creases and then we will cut. So with a regular pair of scissors, you're going to cut along the lines that you see here. And now here is your opportunity to use your scraps. We're going to trim two pieces of scraps at seven and a half by two and five eighths. Okay, so now that we have our scraps together, and FYI, my scraps don't match, they coordinate. Like I said, we're going to use our scraps. And so we are going to score at two and one half inches. So go ahead and fold along the score lines and now we are going to apply glue along that whole uh, larger side because what we're going to do is we're going to put these together but be mindful not to add glue just yet to the bottom half. Now here's a tip. 
I always like to use my scoring board to square things out. In other words, if there is something that I need to make sure that it's sitting at a perfect right angle or something, I'll go ahead and just sit it right up against my scoring board and it helps tremendously. So now I'm going to use my Spellbinders Labels 20 dies and I'm going to use the tiny little one to cut a handle on my strip. So now I'm laying it down on my Spellbinders crafting mat so that I can center it as best as I can. And then I use my Spellbinders Platinum 6 to die cut this piece. So now we're going to put the handle piece to the side for a moment and we are going to focus on closing the uh, tray. For this part you can use your double sided tape as you can use your wet glue as well. Now that that part is done, we're going to take our handle piece and we are going to apply wet glue all over that section. And be sure to um, apply a generous amount of glue in that middle section where um, the, uh, the two portions meet. This way you can ensure that that part stands upright. To decorate the front of my mill carton carrier, I'm going to be using the farmyard, farmyard animal stamp, that cute cow that you see there, from Fun Stamper's Journey. Then I die cut the stamped image with a coordinating die. And last, I decorate my mill cartons and my mill carton carrier with uh, cutouts from the paper collection. And I do use my cow stamped image on the front of my carrier and it looks so cute. I did use some uh, pink markers to color some of the flowers and it looks real pretty. And I'm done. This was such an easy project and I enjoyed it so much and I know that I will be creating Creating some more of these. These are perfect treat boxes for, for um, Easter coming up and, and uh, for gift giving and for swaps and happy mail. I thank you all so very much for checking out my video, for checking out my tutorials, and um, I will see you once again real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye now.